today is the most important game in Robert Vernon's career, or rookie career, that is. And he is playing against his hometown, Shy, Shy Town, that is. And, you know, he's always wanted to play there. He always does. Maybe he might next season. Who knows what's going to happen? I really doubt it because they already have Jimmy Butler there. So Pl Miles Plumley has the ball there. He's not passing it. What are you doing, man? You're a power forward or center. I don't know which one you are. I pass it to Green, and then I pass it to then he passes to Plumley, and then Plumley passes back to me. I'm trying to get something before this two second end, and I have Noah right there. Oh, and I lay up over Noah. How does someone do that at six foot one? That is crazy. So Jimmy Butler has the ball. Definitely a competition. If I did go there, oh my God! And how was that not a foul, ref? So I get the block and the rebound there and pass it to Green. Maybe he can go in for the assist. He passes to Markeith Morris, who then doesn't sink it. He just gets a block. I mean, not a block, but off the rim. And so we're going in for the dunk, and I dunk on Mr. McDermott, I think. I, I think that. No, it's Dunleavy. I dunk on Dunleavy, and I think later on he adds me on Twitter. <laughs> He's like, damn, dude, you dunked on me. There you go. I'm following you on Twitter. So then uh, Derek Rose here, definitely someone we want as a teammate later on in the future. Passes to Mitroic or something like that. He doesn't go anywhere. Isaiah Thomas has the ball in the third quarter. We we're, we're losing by like uh, seven. And oh boy, Derrick Rose just messes with me. I'm like, damn, dude, never mind. I don't want to be your teammate anymore. Robert Vernon is like flopping around on the ground. And you see that? Tries to go in for like the little floater. And Derrick Rose just like elbows him like he was football or something. I ain't about that life here in basketball. My my guy looks hurt. I always get scared each time I see him just like on the floor not getting up. So I go for the free throw, make the first one. You see, he doesn't get any love from his teammates. So it's 5-1, five, 5 points, 1 rebound. And then maybe he can go in. Yes, he makes it. So, you know, Robert Vernon is really going to want to do his best this game. So it's six, we have 6 points, 1 rebound, hoping to improve on that. And uh, Isaiah Thomas is trying to juke them out, doing, like, behind-the-back movements. He's not passing it to anybody. So I go in for the shot off the pass, and the last-second shot in the third quarter, we make it. That's a very nice shot by Robert Vernon. He's definitely on his game today with 75% field goal percentage. That was, like, the best he's ever performed. And definitely good against his hometown, which is someone who he, who he wants to perform against very well. So it's 57-62. to 62. We are losing. Isaiah Thomas has the ball, then he passes it to Green. Green pump fakes, he gives it to Robert Vernon. Robert Vernon sees an opening, maybe going in for another dunk. And Noah does not want to get dunked on, so he just moves out of the way. He moves out of the way and makes Jimmy Butler look like a bad guy. Oh, boy. Noah's, that's how you know someone is fierce when Noah is afraid of them. Like, damn, six foot one man dunking on these seven foot tall people. That's, that's crazy. So Vernon is blocking Jimmy Butler, Butler, Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Butler over here making sure he doesn't do anything because we definitely don't want to get the negativity from our digressing of points from facing with him and get another block on him, a second block on him. He's definitely been kind of cheated this game. We've got two rebounds and two blocks off of this one man. The first time was just ridiculous. He was knocked over like crazy. So 20 points left. Maybe he can get a career high with 12 points. Can he do it? Oh, and he misses the shot. Mick Dermont. Uh, fouls him at 61 to 62. Oh, but that was kind of good. That was a foul. But look at that. He sees McDonald's hand coming around and he gets it past his hand. And I don't know how that was a foul, but leaning on me. We just need one point. He gets it. He gets the first free throw to tie up the game, making sure his team is behind him on this one. 11 points, two rebounds, one assist. We just need one more point, I'm pretty sure. Or two. I think it's just one. Or we already made our career high. But 12 would be a nice career high to have right now. So we have our first career high point making. I think our first one was like 10 points, whatever. So it's 16, 15 seconds left. Uh, Derrick Rose passes to Gibson. And then Gibson passes back to Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose passes to Noah. Noah passes to Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler gets on the inside of me. Pat misses, ah, misses it. And, then gives it. and Noah gets the rebound. And then throws it into the hoop for a... Um, foul and and an and one and that was some cheese all right that was some lame stuff right there there is no way anybody can make that the whole team was blocking him and they called the foul nobody even touched him i was so mad i did have live commentary for this one but it got 
I don't know, but I just like I wasn't really doing it so well. I was kind of silent for come of the for most of the game. Come of the game, oh god! As you see, guys, I mess up when I have to speak super fast because a lot of crazy stuff happens. So we have seven seconds left. Point seven seconds left. I'm t I'm begging Marquise to pass it to me, and he passes it to the guy that's so like basically at the half line. I don't understand what that pass was. So we have drama in the locker room. Let's see what happens. I don't know about you, but this ain't what I signed up for. It's one loss. What you gonna do? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work harder, do whatever it takes to get this team back on track. Nobody expects us to dominate this league or even contend for a title, but we sure it's better than this. You wanna continue to slide, be my guest, me? I ain't gonna have it. I'm with you, bro. For real. Even if we got lights and fire up under some people's butts. Hey, let's do it, man. I came from the bottom. Yeah, I ain't about to let my dream die because some lazy punk don't want to work hard. Hey, man, let's go. That's right. Let's get it back tomorrow. Tomorrow, man. Robert Vernon firing up the squad right there in the locker room. That's probably he's Robert Vernon is going to get some plus points for that one. He doesn't want to see his team lose the next game. He's definitely tired of all this losing here in Phoenix. They've been on this big lose streak, so we're trying to change something here. Uh, you know, he's going to try to do more teamwork this game. As you see, he set up the screen for Eric Bledsoe to go in there for a point. Definitely someone we're competing for the starting job for. And so Robert Vernon's trying to break loose here. It's one rebound, zero assist, or one, like, uncounted assist. Look at that double move. I don't even know what that was. That was in coverage. I was surprised there's no foul in that play, but he just got in there and just, oh my gosh, so much moves just to make that work. So I called for the pass. I was going in. I was like, oh my gosh, come on, Isaiah Thomas. We don't have all day. You see that right there? I was all the way inside. I could have gone for a nice, easy bucket. I'm just begging for the ball like, Isaiah, stop. You're not the only one on the team. So I go in for a bucket right there and a foul and almost an and one. You have got to be kidding me. That went in and out. Kind of angry on that one. That wasn't an and one. That should have been an easy and one conversion right there. But easier said than done, right? So then we have three points with one rebound, hoping to make the second one in the end of the third quarter. It's 54 to 62. We have a good lead, all right? We want to keep it that way. So now it's now we have four points in the game. So now we have Avery Bradley. It is uh, fourth quarter, 66 to 71. Robert Vernon trying to get something in there, a nice spin move, kind of like Michael, Magic Johnson, always practicing that in the um, practice court. And he has space to shoot, and he does make the shot, and that's six points in the game, one rebound, zero assist. Definitely not playing too much uh, team ball. I mean, he is. He passes it to his teammates, but they don't make the shot that he when he passes it to him. It's kind of annoying. So uh, Rajon Rondo kind of sounds like a, a dish. Jean, you want your Jean Rondo? So we have one minute and 50 seconds left. 72 to 75. They had a comeback. And so we're trying to make it go away. We're trying to make them go away. Make them go quietly. Which they're not doing. Our Vernon just has to juke out Avery right here. He passes to Miles Plumley And Miles Plumley with some resistance gets blocked. And now they have a chance to go for a three point. To try to tie it. Or just go for a regular two conversion here. And just you know. and But. They're not having it. They really want that three, as you see there, but they're not going to get it. So they pass it to Rajon Rondo in the paint, who then gets a 74-75 point. We only have a one-point lead here. So Isaiah Thomas is right over there calling for it. So it was green. I'm like, no, it's my job. So I get in there and go for the slam dunk. What a nice slam dunk by Robert Vernon. Ooh, if he just was like went in a little bit more, he would have gotten the foul. Maybe the end one. Who knows? But it's 77-76 team definitely on his back Robert Vernon that is so Miles Plumlee trying to get trying to get the ball over to Robert Vernon he successfully does that Robert Vernon trying to get in the bucket he gets stopped and he can't move anymore passes to Isaiah Thomas then passes it back I'm wide open I go for the perfect you no know, a little bit late shot right there and he does not make it you know I couldn't I was like in so much pressure to make that shot he doesn't so it's 16 seconds left in the game we definitely do not need to make any mistakes here so we need to stop him right here. That would be good if we could just stop him. 12 seconds left on the shot clock, or in the game clock, I would say. I leave my guy wide open. Ooh, almost get the steal, but it kind of came with a risk. He misses it, and then he gets the ball, and then he makes it. Oh, no, but he doesn't because it was a loose ball. What a mistake. They would have had the lead in the last three seconds. So I pass it, and 
Isaiah Thomas. What was that? That was the worst catch I've ever seen. And then it by and it, and I get blamed for it. Of course, two seconds. 2K don't do me like this. 2K, I was begging 2K don't do me like this. So there's they see someone open. They see uh Rajon Rondo open. He goes in for the wide open shot. I'm like, no! And he bricks it. He bricks the game winning shot. And this is how we win, guys. Seriously. We win. We were okay. Yo, so what's up? It's not every day that you in the hood. Yeah, just wanna drop a little knowledge away. We're an exclusive club. A lot of people think the NBA life is easy, but I know different. There are ups, downs, pressure. Most people got no clue about. Wanted to make sure you were dealing okay. Oh, yeah, man. I'm good. All right. Because if I learned anything, it's that you have to tune out all the noise. Only thing that matters is what's happening between the lines. Do the work, listen to the coaches, and results will take care of themselves. At the end of the day, it will not be about the money, the nice hotels, the private jets. Remember, and you'll be fine, all right? Yeah, man, I get that. We straight. I was in town with another one of my clients, Dante Exum, and had to see if the rumors were true. Guess they are. New digs. Look who's moving up in this world. <laughs> I'm sure you already know Dante, the biggest player to come out of Australia since, uh, well, since ever, he can run the point, move over to the two guard, whatever anybody needs. He's about to take the league by storm. Yeah, we'll see about that. And this is the man I was telling you about, Dante. Destined to be the biggest undrafted success in the history of the league. Ballin', making money, going places. Maybe, but he's gonna have to go through me to get there. Ha! <laughs> Boy, you acting like that's a challenge. Take it however you want. you see what I mean on the court. <laughs> fellas, fellas, let's keep it cordial. We're all in the same money-making family here. As you see there, Dante Exum comes into our house. <laughs>